Welcome. It's, Sorry we're a little bit late. It's just um, <laughs> the first live stream after boot camp. Oh my gosh. I just realized that. Isn't that crazy? Y'all, last week was mm. cray. It was on another level. Mm -hmm. Everybody was showing up. And y'all, everybody made... So I mean, many we things. got to see so many of you all making the things, which was really exciting for yeah. me because a lot of times we don't get to actually see what you make. So I, that was really cool. It was really, really awesome. Yeah. And we're just so happy that you guys took advantage of boot camp. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the dealio. Are you all ready to hear? If you are a Makers Gonna Learn member, what we are doing, those trainings, were top notch. Oh, yeah. Like unbelievable, great. top level projects. Like yeah. you're gonna wanna make these for years to come. They're amazing. If you're a member, we are taking those trainings, we are editing them down from like an hour and a half mm -hmm. to like probably like a 45 minute, you know, however long it needs to be to train. These are really good trainings. Yeah. At the end of the month, those will be edited and uploaded into your class portal of Makers Gonna Learn. Yes. So if you're not a member, you have two options. Number one, you can watch the replays right here on YouTube for free until for two more days well until yeah until friday at midnight yeah. friday at midnight or what we have done is we have extended our sale we've extended our promotion to where you can join the year membership use the coupon code craft 40 Alicia, we're still sending swag bags. We're still sending them. We're are we still... crazy or are we crazy? I mean, maybe a little bit, but like in a good way. In a good way, yeah. <laughs> um, so if you go annual, you're getting a full starter kit. Holy cow. Coupon code is CRAFT40. Mm -hmm. So you're getting locked in at that price, grandfathered in. You're it's getting amazing. the starter kit. So good. But Alicia, what I wanted to tell everyone today, just that are on the fence and have not joined, yeah. we have only had like 50 people join monthly. Yeah. I mean, y'all, $27 gets you into the game where you watch all our training, all our curriculum. Monthly gets the 30-day challenge, too. Yeah. But you're getting a weeding tool and a Cricut reference guide still mailed to you if you go monthly today. Still so, getting a bonus. It is so still good. It, it runs until the end of the month. Friday at midnight, all of this disappears. So the free trainings disappear, the bonuses to enroll in membership disappear. You will not see these back here possibly ever. I don't really know. I mean, I'm not promising we'll do this crazy. You just never know. You just never you know. know. Don't have FOMO yeah. on Saturday that you didn't do it when you've been on the fence about it this whole yes, time. Yes, so. yes. Um, Sadie has been sending out hundreds of your all's packages. Like, yes. just praise to Sadie. I, <laughs> she has barely talked to me this week. <laughs> she is been just busy. shipping. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm shipping, Tanner. See you later. So it's been super <laughs> fun um, to see that you all are getting them and loving them. Yes. And it's just so fun. So everyone um, it's working hard. Shireen, yes, this is USD. Mm. Um, the $230 is your pay in full one year of Makers Gonna Learn. So you're gonna have a full 365 days crafting with us, which is insane. Yes. We have monthly Zooms. They're yeah. so fun. And th that's new. It's that's new. a new yeah. feature. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. We are brainstorming what new classes we want to add to membership later on this year. Mm -hmm. So many great chats happening. Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, it's it's good stuff in there. I think people, I, I wish we could just, I want to be like, let me show you. Just yeah, let me show you. Exactly. It's, it's so good. So fun. Exactly. Well, Alicia, what are you doing today? We are making, vel we're working with Velvet HTV. What so is that? So velvet heat transfer vinyl. Right. Y'all, when I first saw this, I saw a couple different people using it on the interwebs. Yeah. And I was like, excuse me, what? Like, right. I have to try it. I have to get my hands on it. And so we did. We got our hands on some. Um, the brand is Craftables. But basically, I'm going to be showing y'all how to do, like, the different cut settings, the different heat settings, because it is different from regular yeah. HTV. Um, but it feels so good like you know sometimes if you do HTV on something depending on the brand it can feel like you made it yeah I feel like this velvet HTV it looks store-bought and that's really? what I love so much about it yeah wow so it's pretty amazing and I'm looking over there and realizing I didn't even bring this sample in that I made which oh, that's I fun. probably should but you know we're gonna so we're gonna good. have a final product today yeah, so I'm gonna be are. showing you all from start to finish how to do it yeah so, you are it's gonna be very incredible. exciting stuff yes. uh, some people didn't even know that there was such a thing as velvet HTV welcome to the party yeah. welcome to the club because I didn't either and I whenever I saw it I was like there's no way that's heat transfer vinyl yeah. and it's not 
it's not vinyl, but okay. it's, I, I guess they're calling it vinyl because the how back hard, of it. How hard was it to get the settings? Um, it, it's, a, you know. So you, you got, you got a, little, a little hacky hack? Yeah, you got to do a little finagling. Okay. But it's nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing we can't do. Yeah, it's yeah. Awesome. So y'all you, know we like to kind of move our cut settings around and stuff like that. Yes. So that's what we're going to do today. Yes. Now I'm going to make sure that we have it linked down below for you all. And we do. Which? Yep. We have the velvet heat transfer oh, vinyl yeah. linked for you guys. Oh, yeah. It's Craftables velvet sheets. Go ahead and take a look. You can mm -hmm. get a pack of 12 by 10 sheets, which is super, super fun. And there's fun. different colors. And yeah. also, y'all check out the Craftables actual website. Like, you can look on Amazon and on their website. Yeah. Um, if you're in East Tennessee, I think that they're local. I think that they're local because I've ordered something from them and it came literally the next day. Okay, can I just brag real quick? Yes. I ordered something on Amazon Saturday and, and I it had it on Monday. Day. Okay, we got a distribution center I know. Uh, like an hour away from us. I have and a I picture of it. I, I flew <laughs> over it and I took a picture. I was like, this is so oh, good. Oh, wait, when you were flying yeah, in? Yeah. That's hilarious. It's awesome. So yeah. praise to Amazon <laughs> Christmas this year. I expect it's gonna be. to be able to order something on no, like December 23rd. Okay. If you're a postal second. service person, we're sorry. Yeah, they're we're probably not, like those Ugh. people. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I last year we were ordering stuff the week or two before Christmas, and it didn't make it. So anyway, yeah. But you know, it slowed down after in 2020. Yes. Everything kind of yes. slowed down because prom members. I was like, I don't even need prom right now because right. I ain't getting it for yeah. another yeah. week and a half. Yeah. So anyway, That's should so we fun. should we jump Let's into dive it? in to see what we need. Let's do it. While you do that, I'm trying to be nosy and I see where Craftables is located. I know, and I feel like I've looked it up before, but I can't remember. But I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, that came so fast. So anyways, I have a few different things here. You don't need a lot of extra supplies for this project. Um, but I did order this blanket and I tried to find um, something that was like, I don't know, decorative. I would use this more as a decorative blanket, but honestly, this velvet is so nice that you cannot even tell, like you could use it on an everyday blanket if you wanted to, but I just think it's so pretty. I, I just want to display it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you're going to need a blanket and I want to say, let's see, this blanket is 70% polyester. Um, but I don't think it matters because you can apply this heat. If you can apply heat transfer vinyl to it, you can apply this to it. So, um, this one's really super soft. If you're not a polyester person, don't purchase the blanket that's in the links for you. Um, it does have that polyester feel, which I personally like, but I know a lot of people do not like how polyester feels. Gotcha. Um, you could totally do like cotton or something like that. Okay, now we have a friend saying that uh, Craftables is around Nashville, so that's okay. super cool. Then that's why, that's why. Yeah. So, and I've ordered something else from them that was really good, like a craft product, and it was random. I love Maybe it. Maybe our little hotel, retro hotel keychains, yeah. I think I ordered from them. So, so cool. Anyways, check them out. Um, so this is the Velvet HTV you're going to need, and so it's very interesting. Can you all see? It's, it's thick. It has a carrier sheet built in like heat transfer vinyl wood. And then it's still kind of got this like sheen, like shiny on the back. Y'all, this is like real velvet. I mean, or like, I guess they call it crushed velvet, um, but it feels like real velvet. It's so, it's so, so nice. And so I picked this color, but there's other color options. And then I have a Teflon sheet here. I've got a Cricut. This is a very large Cricut heat press mat because we are going to be using our big mama Cricut heat press. I never use this heat press because I, y'all know I'm a mini press, ride or die girl, but I really like this size for this project because it covers the entire design that we're doing today. So I really like that it covers everything and that I don't have to manually go in with like a mini press and do it. So the bigger press that you have, the better I think it's going to work depending on your design. Now, if you do small, a smaller design, it won't matter as much. Um, but I think this is going to be your best bet. And then I have a brayer. I've got some masking tape. That's optional in case your mat is not super sticky. Um, scissors. I have a measuring tape and then I've got a strong grip mat. Now you could use like a newer standard grip mat if that's all you have on hand but you wanna make sure that you've got something that's really gonna hold on to the vinyl because this is thick. 
And so whenever I'm using thicker materials, I try to use a strong grip or a new standard grip mat. So any questions about the supplies, anybody? No. Lots of people are like, I've never seen velvet. Right, actually. it's so new. The blanket, velvet, literally everything is linked in the description below for you guys. So if you are needing to get some of this, you can um, totally do that. Will you be able to use the nine by nine easy press? Yeah, yeah. What is this, 13 by? Yeah, 13 by 10. 13 by 10. So it's just gonna depend on your design, but nine by nine will be just fine. Like I probably could have used that for today, honestly. So, and then you're going to need a couple different fonts. We're using the split monogram font and the fellowship font. And I will show you all. I downloaded them already, but where's my mouse? Oh, here it is. Um, I downloaded them already, but I can show you all where to find them on the website. Love it. So let's go ahead and get logged in there. Does anyone have any questions about supplies yet? Anybody? I don't think so. Everyone understands and they're just really just interesting. It. Alicia, you can find in the uh, comments down below the links to all our supplies. So anything from weeding tool, mm. the machine, Teflon, Easy Press, Velvet, Blanket. We've even linked you guys the fonts. So you can click yes. those exact links down so below. So this is one of the fonts that we're going to be using today. And this is one of our newer fonts. So every month we release new fonts, which is amazing. Um, if you're a member, you get access to all of those fonts and you get commercial use of them as well, which is really nice. And so if you wanted to sell velvet blankets with these beautiful monograms on them, you could totally do it. And so you're just gonna download that. It'll pop into a zip folder and then you can double click on the font and install the font. So we've already got it technically. Um, and then I'm just gonna go back and you can always search for your, um, like the font style that you want over here. Like if you wanted to do a fancy font, um, we even have a monogram category, which is really nice because that's what we're needing. So you can just select monogram and all of these fonts are going to pop up and you can see we've got two pages full of monogram fonts, which is amazing for all of our monogram peeps. And so we're going to be using this split monogram. And again, you're just going to click the little download button, double click your zip folder, double click the item in the folder and then you're going to install your font okay and then we're going to go back to design space and we're just going to reload design space go view and reload and then our fonts will be in design space now can you use this on any fabric um the velvet htv yeah i would say Probably yes. Okay. I would say probably now, yes. Now, from your research, have you noticed any other brands that uh, offer velvet heat transfer vinyl? We're having some friends ask. Um, and if you can find some, let me know. <laughs> I could not find um, any that look to even close yeah. to the quality, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I did this project quite a while ago, so maybe it got the word got around and maybe I missed it. Um, but this is like really good quality. I'm going to recommend this brand. I just think that it's good, I know it works, it's foolproof. Um, so yeah, okay, before we get started, um, I went ahead and downloaded the fonts and I'm gonna go ahead and start designing what we want. So before we, before we go in and design it though, I wanna make sure that I'm making, I'm gonna like basically put a little template and y'all know we like to kind of have like some kind of guide for how big Everything needs to be. And so with the blanket, we're not doing the whole blanket, obviously, right? Um, but you do want to kind of decide where you want to put your design. And so I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I have this blanket, and we may have to go to camera one so y'all can see what I'm doing here. If you wanted this blanket to like hang over like the ledge of a couch, for example, you want to think about how it's folded and where you want your monogram to be. So if this, if my arm was the leg of the couch or like the arm of the couch, and I want it to show right here, this is the space that I want to work in when I'm in design space. So this is, I need to measure how big this is and make sure my design fits within the parameters. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, now, if you wanted to fold it differently, fold it how you think it's going to be displayed and then measure the area that it's going to be showing up in. So. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's measure this. Where's my little thingy? Okay, so I'm not gonna include the fringes. I'm just going to include all of this part. 
And so, let's see here. We've got about, I'm not going to go all the way to the end because I don't need it to be, I don't want it to fill up this whole right. area. You want it to look like it was like natural. Right. So I'm thinking like nine by 10. Now, this vinyl is not 12 by 12. I'll say that. 12 by 10 is what I read on the On the website, yeah. yeah. So these are 12 by 10. So you technically could not even get bigger than that. Now, if you were feeling risky and you wanted to butt two pieces, I'm not even going to get into that. But I was going to say, <laughs> if you wanted to make it really big, you could butt two pieces of it up together. But we're not going to do that today. So you want to make sure that your design parameters are within the 12 by 10, which ours are. We're going to do 9 by 10. So let's go back into design space. And I am going to just click a shape. And we're just going to pull in a basic shape. So this is my favorite way to kind of lay out my designs and make sure that it fits proportionally. You can unlock your shape and then our width is going to be 9 and our height is going to be 10. Okay. And then I'm going to change the color of this to the color of our blanket. Love it. So this is our design. Does anybody have questions of what I've went over so far? I feel like I'm still in boot camp mode, so we had like a whole bunch of people, yeah, and I wanted to make good. sure that we're all you're on the all same good. page. Everybody's having so much fun. Yeah. Some people saying they're not as bougie as you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally get that. I'm normally the opposite. Yeah. Um, so this is my little guide, and what we need to do next is pull in our first design element. So. That's going to be your monogram because the monogram is the biggest element. It's going to take up most of the space. So select the text box right here and we're going to do an R. I'm going to do Renner, which is my daughter's babysitter's new Aww. married name. <laughs> so I'm just going to select that and then I'm going to come up to my fonts. And if you're ever looking for a font and it's on Cricut, if I try to search in monogram right here, it's going to give me whatever Cricut is offering. Yeah. I don't want that. So make sure you select system fonts and it's going to pull up all of your downloaded monogram fonts. Does that make sense? Um, the blanket color is beautiful, Tina. So, okay, we're just going to, oh, I need to search it. Let's see, monogram. Okay, and then you can see all of these different ones that we've used in the past. And we're going to be using the split monogram. And holy moly, that's big. Right. Let's zoom out. Okay, and then we're just going to shrink it down so that it fits within our parameters. Let me zoom back in so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. And you can stretch it to fill that area. That way you know how big it's going to be. Okay, beautiful, right? Yeah. Now, the next thing that we need to do is add in our text that's going to go through the middle. So I'm going to do Renner, and it's still in my monogram font. So I'm going to hit Command A. That's going to select everything in our text box. And then we can type in our other font name, which is Fellowship. Okay, I love this font. I think it's so cute. Um, now, I will recommend that you do all caps here. I just think it looks better. It kind of fills in the space because you can see now like if it was small there's going to be big gaps. And so what I like to do is use all caps. You could also use a um, like a script but I would make sure that you didn't do anything too dainty because it's not going to cut well. So you want to make sure that you're not doing anything super detailed um, when you're cutting this vinyl. I don't even like to call it vinyl. When you're cutting this velvet. Um, it does, it, I mean, it really is just like adhesive back velvet, right? It literally is. Like people's like, wait, it looks just like velvet. No, it, it's velvet. It's velvet. With a, with a heat activated yeah. backer. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. It, it literally is velvet. So, but you don't want to do anything super intricate just because you don't want to mess up your design. So we have lots of like beautiful floral monograms on our website that you're going to probably come across when you're looking at monograms. I don't really recommend those unless you're planning to make a bigger design. Um, and these, this uh, velvet does come in a roll. So if you wanted to do like a really long, like full last name and did like maybe some florals on that or something, you could. But 
I just wouldn't recommend if you're going to do something this small on this scale, I would not do anything super intricate um, unless you kind of played with the cut settings and stuff like that on your own and feel free, feel free to do that if you're feeling, you know, brave. And then the last thing I want to do, and this is a design preference um, just for me, I like to add a little bit of space in between my letters. So I'm just going to add like a 0.5 of space, maybe even like a 0.8. Yes. Do you see how that makes, like, elevates it a little bit? Is yeah. it just me? <laughs> no, I, I always feel like space in between my letters elevates my design. Uh, maybe I'm just crazy. It just crazy. makes it stand out more. It like, does. See it it kind of cleans more, it up a little bit. You can read it better. Right. Increases readability. Happy birthday, Lisa. Happy birthday. Aww. Now, I love that you were kind of just, for anyone here that is newer to using our monogram fonts, this is a really simple way to see how you can customize it. Like it's really easy to work with our monograms. Yes. Um, if you want to look at other monograms, sometimes you'll download two or three uh -huh. fonts to use a monogram font um, and you would see the left, middle, and right. Um, right. So just know that. And we have training for it if you all need it. Yes, and we've got so many good monogram fonts. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is make sure everything is aligned. So I'm going to go to my layers panel. I'm going to select my R. Hold the shift key down and select Renner. And then I'm going to align and center horizontally. Now, you can see right away that this is kind of not centered. Um, it could just be the font. Sometimes if they have, if it's like a sans serif font, sometimes these little lines will throw off the alignment. Um, so I'm just going to bump it back into where I think that it looks more centered. So you don't always have to trust your align tool. Most of the time it's right, but if it looks off, adjust it. Yeah. Um, and it, it did look a little bit off. So I'm pulling it in. And then I saw someone ask about the lines on the end. We, it sh they should cut fine, but yes, like I don't want to be doing a font that has lots of thin, skinny lines, but I think if we have a few here and there, we should be fine. We'll cross our fingers, right? Yeah. <laughs> so after you get it lined up exactly how you want it, I'm going to select both of these again in the layers panel and we're just going to attach them and so this is going to keep everything exactly where it is if i were to group these together it would not do that it would put my renner somewhere on my cutting mat and it would put my r somewhere on my cutting mat right but since i've attached them they're going to stay where i want them to stay and so that's it that's all for the design no process way. yeah so easy i think that so took us like easy. 10 minutes maybe yeah. And so um, what you just need to do now is hide your little square. We're going to go to make it. And since we're using a heat transfer vinyl, we are going to be cutting this from the back. So that means that we're going to be putting the carrier sheet face down onto the sticky part of the mat. So we're cutting it from the back, which means that we need to mirror our image. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever cutting heat transfer vinyl and you're putting the carrier sheet down onto the mat, you need to mirror your image. And so we will select continue. And then I am going to be cutting this on denim bonded. Who has used that cut setting here before? <laughs> Ooh, not me. <laughs> me neither before this. Maybe I used it when I've actually cut denim. Have you cut denim before? Yeah, but are you using the rotary blade? No. What? No. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So um, I'm going to be using denim bonded, okay? And so I've seen this done a couple different ways, just whenever using thicker materials. Like a lot of times people will use um, settings like denim bonded with more pressure to really cut through it. But the denim bonded cut setting has a lot of pressure on its own. So I don't need to add more pressure. I will say that if you are cutting with an older machine or it, it doesn't even necessarily need to be older. It could just be your machine needs a little bit more pressure or may even need a little bit less pressure, you can always adjust your pressure right here in this drop down menu. Now I've tested it a couple times and I actually have it right here so you guys could see. Um, I did test it using more pressure and you can see it almost cut through my carrier sheet. So I think a lot of you all will probably run into the issue of, you're like, I wanna make sure it cuts all the way through. So let me add more pressure. Be very careful and make sure you're doing a test cut first because I don't want you all, to, first of all, to waste the spinal. It's a little pricey. Um, so get you a piece and use it as your test sheet 
and make sure to get your cut settings right before you go willy-nilly cutting your design because it is going to vary from machine to machine. It's going to be similar, but it's going to be a little bit different. And so I felt more happy to use my default cut settings. So I'm just going to use default pressure on the denim bonded cut setting. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Okay. Um, Betty, we're using a velvet HGV that is linked below for you guys. So I've got default pressure here. All I need is a fine point blade. That blew my mind too. I promise. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? We don't need a rotary blade for this, which is really nice because you don't have to buy, you know, the adaptive tools and all that. And so what I'm going to do now is move all this stuff out of the way. First Kelly, thing. you can do this on all Cricut machines because we are using that fine point, bl fine point blade yes. um, on the denim bonded setting. Great yes. question. Great, I love great question. it. Um, okay, so here's our velvet. The carrier sheet is on the top. That means that I'm going to flip it over. The carrier sheet goes on the bottom, okay? And we're going to be cutting it from the back. I'm going to line this up to the top left of my mat. And then you can take a burnishing tool or a brayer. I personally like a brayer when I'm using fabrics like velvet or if I'm using like fabric with heat and bond on the back of it. A brayer really allows me to lay everything down smoothly. Okay. And then we are just going to run this through as the cricket. Okay. Good deal. Yes, Annette, it will need to be mirrored before you go to cut it. That is correct. I really love that we're only using the fine point blade for this because I feel like a lot of times if we're doing any kind of like crazy new material, it always requires all of this like new product and stuff. But it's really nice because you can experiment with this and you don't really need anything new. Like if you've already got a heat source um, and you've already got your Cricut, like yeah. you're good to go. Honestly, you probably already got a blanket laying around somewhere if I had to guess. <laughs> I think For that sure. this I really think that this velvet would look good and I have not tried it on satin. So if you guys try Ooh. on satin, this would be gorgeous on a bridal robe. Yeah. Like or bridesmaid robes. I feel like that would be so, so pretty. And so you all can see, go, let's go to the share screen. It's cutting one of three passes. So whenever you cut the denim bonded, it does cut more than one pass. And so that allows it to cut all the way through while only having to use that fine point blade. I love that. Yes. Love it. Look at this. It Marina says, I'm seeing a design that's not too detailed on a ball cap. That would be a good idea. I really like that. I don't know how well, anytime we, I talk about like hats and things, like you have to be really careful about what you're putting on like a ball cap. Like, yes. it really worries me on just the adhesive, like, hearing part. Mm -hmm. um, but the right size design will make a difference. If you try to make it yes. too large on a baseball hat, it would be really hard. Now, one idea is to put the velvet on a patch and then put the patch on the hat, which would be a really cool idea. That's a great idea. Thank I, you. I agree with that. Thank you. And um, can, you could probably put heat and bond on the back yeah, of the patch, too. Yeah, of course. And of that would give it more of like an adherence, you yeah, know? Yeah, I love that. Okay, Look it's cutting right now. And so I don't know what pass it's on on these, but on my smaller letters, it scares me every time. It did it yeah. to me the first time. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. <gasps> it makes me dun, so dun, nervous. So I kind of babysit it because I don't want it to mess up my cunt. Yeah, for sure. And whenever something is doing multiple cuts, especially if there's fine lines, you have to be very careful. Yes. But if anything sure. messes up, we can always be cut. Okay. While it's cutting, please don't mess up. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we're going to turn our Cricut press on. Okay. Let me turn it this way so it's not upside down. Okay. Can y'all see that? Yep. Okay. We're going to push the power button. We're going to be setting it on 310. So. It technically needs to be between 300 and 315. 310 is like my happy medium and it worked really well for me. So we're going to adjust this to 310. And then for, we're gonna be actually pressing it twice. So the first one you're gonna press for 10 seconds and then we apply a Teflon sheet and we press it for 15 more seconds. It sounds crazy, but I'm just following the rules, everybody. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit to so the you're side. You're gonna hit it how many times? Twice. Twice. Yes. That's not too bad. 
Y'all, I made a video for you guys <gasps> about puff vinyl. Ooh! And one of them had a double press too. It was the Starcraft. And yeah. I was like, oh, I don't think I double pressed anything up to that point. Y'all have no idea. And I hope I hope you all, I don't know if I've removed this from the internet, but what? I <laughs> was testing out my studio in the basement of my home. I have a beautiful home office. I get to look at the lake. It's awesome. And my tech guy, Brooks, put in my home studio. And the first training that I did from my basement was about Puff HTV. And it was kind of like, let's try this new material out and see together. What happens. Yeah. It was before you worked here. Yes. And when I tell you, Alicia, it was a train wreck. I was like, people are going to fire me. <laughs> I'm getting fired from my own I'm company. I'm fired. Um, Alicia, are you about. Are you sweating bullets over yes. what is happening here with yes. your velvet? Show us what's happening here on this beautiful live training. Okay, so I can already, these ends, and you guys warned, you warned me. that My ends on the other one were fine, um, but these did not cut as well. And I, ha I have a resolution, okay? So okay. We'll, we'll fix it, don't worry. Um, but it did not, it cut them, but like it cut them away. So like right. our ends basically don't exist anymore. Um, everything else turned out really good. So I'm actually going to use the R still. Oh. Um, but what I'm going to do, let's go back into design space before I weed anything. Let's just go back into design space and troubleshoot this very quickly. So you could just change the font if you wanted to, but I'm thinking I'm going to add a very small offset and wow. thicken it up. Let's see what it looks like. Well, we're going to have to play. So I'm going to detach everything. And I'm just going to select Renner over here in my layers panel. And let's go to offset. Now, 0.25 is way too big. I'm thinking like 0 0.05, if that. Okay, not, not too shabby. Let's see here. Mm. Let's hide the original Renner. Okay, did are y'all seeing what Alicia's doing? She added an offset mm -hmm. to then remove the regular font mm -hmm. and to pretty much thicken up her font. She created her own font with being able to do this and it automatically changes the color, yes. which is so good because then when she presses make it, she doesn't even have to worry about right. removing anything. It's on its own color. Right. And so we don't even work because we're not going to be recutting that R. Yeah. Um, and I wow. didn't need to resize or anything. Wow. And so just adjust the offset until you get to a point where you feel like it's thick enough. And I feel like the ends here are thick enough now. And so I think that's going to work for me. Love it. And so really, I'm just going to hide this R. All we need to cut out is this. And I am going to just go to make it. And I'm wondering if I have, mm, we won't risk it. Okay. <laughs> We're not risking it today. We're not going to risk it. it. I'm going to go ahead and remove this vinyl. Now be careful because this carrier sheet is attached, but like not, um, it comes off of the vinyl easily. Okay. And this is a thick or a strong Stronger at Matt, you guys. It does not play. I saw a couple of people last week. They were like, I do the go with gravity method and I snap my mat in half. Oh my gosh. Please I've be always careful. thought I couldn't do that, but this mat makes me feel like I it could full happen. transparency, everyone watching, I do not support the mat that she's using. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strong. I probably made a bad decision. Yeah, I am not a I'm not a map. I'm I'm not that mat guy. Like I've seen other ones and whatnot, but have you used this brand in standard grip before? I, I'm sure I have. I'm just not a fan. <laughs> yeah, it's just very sticky. Like, I don't even know what you would even really use. Heather it. says there's not enough space on the bottom for it to recut. We're just recutting the, um, the name, and there is room at the bottom if we wanted to recut from that sheet. We could also use another sheet. I'm probably just going to use another sheet because we don't want to mess it up again. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? You don't want to have to... Uh, put it in and out. Chrissy knows me. Chrissy knows Nicopa is my mat. Nicopa is my mat too. Nicopa is my face. Now, Alicia, you what? have bragged on these mats before. The Karagi? Yeah. Oh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's, it's a different day. I have a different opinion. Um, <laughs> I'm only, I do like it if I really need a good, strong grit mat, though. Now, are you a fan of those black mats? Um, I used to be, but Nikopa is my favorite. Yeah, Nikopa is really cool. Yeah. Um, we actually, me and Courtney had talked about, we had this like idea to do a whole line of physical products for you guys. And obviously, um, we aren't doing that as of yet. But one of the ideas was to offer like a really great quality mat. But did you all ever think about how hard it is to ship these mats? I, I know. It's hard. Because like it's not going to fit in your mailbox. Yeah. You know? So anyway, it's very expensive to ship mats. So just thank everyone who does sell mats. Yes. Thank um, you, Nikopa. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So make sure to mirror it whenever you go to make it. We're going to select continue. And we are going to cut this on denim bonded. I'm going to do... Y'all, this is why I said make sure to test it before you go. Because before the live, whenever I was just, I was like, I'm just going to test again before we start. The default pressure was fine. But, like, I used default pressure here. And, look, it's tried to cut all the way through. It did wow. cut all the way through in a lot of places. So Which, that's okay. Hey, it it's is. not the worst. It's not the worst thing that could happen, right. but I really like my carrier sheet to hold everything in place. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want it to cut all the way through. So on this one, I'm going to do denim bonded and I'm going to do less pressure. Wow. Just to wow. make sure it doesn't cut through because those little letters are not going to be as easy to line up mm -hmm. as the big R. Mm -hmm. So hit done there and then we're going to do less pressure. Y'all, okay. let's give... Uh, Alicia and the Cricket, some love in the comments. Go ahead and drop them a, some inspiration or motivation um, as they're about to cut again. Pray for me. Pray I'm very me. excited to see you weed this velvet. I don't know about everyone watching, but I'm very intrigued to see the process of the weeding. Um, yeah. I think the applying is fine. I think the cutting will be fine. But the weeding, I'm very excited You're more to watch. curious. I'm about. more curious. Who else is curious about the weeding? Let us know. Let us know. Yeah. So good. Okay, I'm gonna weed this as best as I can. You, as I was showing y'all, it's kind of detached from the carrier sheet. I'm gonna try to keep the carrier sheet intact as well as I can. Okay. You so, got this, Alicia. Lindsay says. <laughs> thank you, Lindsay. I'm actually gonna trim off this excess because we don't want any extra annoyance. And I can save this little piece and use it for something later yeah. down the road. I'm watching so you, Cricket. I'm watching him. Come on, Cricket. Come on. Come through for us. So awesome. So you're just going to weed this as you normally would, um, like HTV. You're going to weed out everything that you do not want. Yeah. And just be very cognizant. If your carrier sheet did get cut a little bit, be very careful. Right, 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 right. Now, I do want to let everyone know here, we have so many members in the comments today. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, Inner Circle is open for enrollment, but again, just for two more days. So we did a training on Saturday and open enrollment just for a short little period. So if you're interested in enrolling inside of Inner Circle, what we have done is there is a quarterly option or an annual option. And y'all, I'm coaching in there on Tuesday. So you could be talking to me, I could be giving you um, any advice, anything like that onto your business this coming Tuesday, but you have to get enrolled into that program. So it is so good, so, so good. Love it. Everyone loves when we make mistakes. I think it's so funny. I We're know, over here like, they we, love how it. Dare, how dare the cricket do us dirty and make a mistake, but it's real life, right? <laughs> yeah, it happens so to fun. us all the time. I'm like, like even when we make stuff regularly, we could make it a hundred times and it still messes up on a live exactly. stream and that's just the way it is. Exactly, exactly. And so there's a little bit of like leftover um, velvet. Okay, you're like, this is a breeze to yeah. weed. Oh my gosh, it weeds so good. And it's probably because it cut all the way through the carrier <laughs> sheet, but um, you can see yeah. it's still semi intact, which is really nice for us. Yeah, So I'm just that's gonna awesome. leave that there. I'm actually gonna pop this out because it's kind of detached. And we are going to set that to the side. <gasps> Y'all, it was fine. Your, oh. Our prayers have been answered. Well, you haven't weeded it yet. You're not out of the woodwork. I don't know. I feel good about it. You feel good about it. I got some good energy. Okay, I have an idea for you. Okay. And tell me what, tell me what, okay. I'm going <laughs> to give you the idea and tell me if you've already thought about it. Okay. After you weed it and like cut it, like with your X-Acto knife, could you place those letters right there onto the like carrier sheet to carrier sheet? 
and then he press it like just like it was all together. Well, let's do it. Wouldn't yeah, I think cool? you could. I think you could totally do that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you could do it either way. Yeah. Like press the R down, then the name letters, or you could like try to. Wait. So you want me to put these letters onto here? I want you to cut out that carrier sheet. Like real close to letters, and then after you weed it, place those letter and the carrier sheet inside of the R before you press it, so it can press all together. Okay. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about it. I don't know. <laughs> Let me just weed oh, it first. I mean, so one fun. step at a time, everybody. One so step fun. at a time. Oh my gosh, Anthony! Welcome, welcome, welcome. My first live session with you guys. I really like seeing the solution when things don't go exactly as compared. Um, to edited videos. So the thing about our live content, our member training, and our recorded videos, they're so different. Mm -hmm. There's so many different reasons. When we go live here, it's for you to be able to see everything that you need to know about something. Um, so thanks for enjoying it. It's definitely very special what we do here on our live shows. Um, always mark your calendar. It is 1.30 p.m. Eastern every single Wednesday. Every Wednesday, you can craft with us live. Um, we test out new products. We make new projects, uh, trendy things. So much fun. Um, it's awesome. It almost cut all the way through the carrier sheet on here, too. With Ooh, less pressure. Child. Ooh. I'm nervous. But look, it didn't. So Yay. praise this mat. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. I'm going to use it for other reasons, but I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Yeah. Okay, I feel better. Yeah, you do. I feel, well, <laughs> what I was going to say is I feel better pressing them separately. Oh, do it. It's your okay. show. I was just thinking what you thought about it. Okay. Okay. I feel like what I want to do is press this and then I'm going to go in and press this on top of it. Perfect. Okay. And so let's grab our little blankie over here. Yeah. Beautiful. And blanket. I'm going to... Find, hold on a second. I gotta make, I gotta make some room over here. Keep everything like non-sticky side down. It just helps your life. Okay, so this is where I'm wanting to put it right here. And I just wanna press onto a single layer. So I'm just gonna yeah. grab this layer and kind of, if we go to camera one, I'm just gonna kind of like open it up. I've still got my hands exactly where it's going. And actually, there's like crease marks where it was folded. Okay. So, let's get our little heat mat. And we're going to slide this up and under where it's going. I'm sorry if the view of this is not ideal, but I promise we will get there. So, we're just pressing on one layer of the blanket. We don't need to be pressing the entire blanket. Okay. Make sure these fringes are out. We want this to be flat. Very flat. Okay. Love it. And just be aware of the edge of your blanket, like this bottom edge. You want to make sure you're like putting this close to the edge, but not too close. You want it to look good. You know? Right. Okay. Now we need our R, our big R first. And what we're gonna do? Oh, my press. Uh oh. Okay, it just turned off, I think. <laughs> okay, can y'all see me if I'm right here? Okay, I'm actually going to scoot it up just a hair. Okay, so this is the area, and I'm just going to line this up. All right. Perfect. Does that look straight to y'all? It looks straight to looks me. Looks good. Okay. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, beautiful, gorgeous. Now, the first 10 seconds, we're going to be pressing directly on to the HTV with our press for 10 seconds. So I'm going to adjust the time to 10 here. Perfect. So we're going to adjust it to 10, maybe. Just maybe. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this right on top of here, and we're going to hit go. And I'm applying firm pressure. Okay. Do, 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 do. Allison's asking about any preheat. There was no preheat instruction? Um, no, but if you, if that's something that you like to do often before you apply yeah. HTV, you can preheat it and then put I it on I used there. to preheat all things, Allison. Like, I don't know, like, 
I think some people he, have a good habit. Some of people it. for like I don't know. It seems like in general now heat transfer vinyl like people don't preheat. I know. I love preheating. It feels like it kind of like Makes sense. it sets the foundation yeah, a little yeah. bit. It like it, it just gets it ready, right? Right. I love yeah. It. Kim I, says these two colors go together. It's so good. I know. Kathy, do we need to prepare um, pre-press or lint roll? So if you like to lint roll, feel free. But remember, this would be similar to regular heat transfer vinyl. So you might be in a sublimation mindset where you lint roll, you lint roll, you lint roll. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't necessarily be the same reasonings to lint roll today. Great right. Question. So this is for 15 seconds with the Teflon sheet for the second press. Oh, so wonder what that Teflon sheet's doing. Why would, uh, you know what I mean? Like wonder what. Well, you know, like I know with um, puff or like brick, yeah. you don't want to overwork the substance that you're pressing. So like if you're doing right. a thicker material, you don't want to like overheat it. Yeah. Honestly, velvet, I, this velvet, I, I would guess is a synthetic material. And mm. so it could potentially melt it. Sure. That's my theory. Love um, it. I just was following the rules, but I think that's probably why. Yeah. Okay. And so you want to let it cool for at least a minute so we can... So is this a cold peel? It's like a cool... A cool peel. Like not like a warm peel, not a hot peel, a cool peel, but not yeah. cold. We just want to wait a minute. Yeah. We don't want to pull it up and we want to make sure that it's like adhered. So we don't want to start tugging at yeah. it and pulling the carrier sheet unless it's completely adhered Donna's to the blanket. asking how much pressure are we putting? Um, you know... I'm just putting my weight into it. I would just tell you how normal. much I weigh, but I won't do that. <laughs> I won't do just, that. <laughs> so, so you're just normal pressure you would use for heat transfer vinyl. Yeah, well, a little, I mean, I'm kind of like leaning into it. Yeah. So just put your body weight on top of it. Perfect. And I feel like if you have a heat press, you could probably do the same thing with a heat yeah, press. Yeah. So. Lisa, and this is a cooler pill. So we're letting it sit for a minute. Yeah, I don't, it's not like a, it's not like um, DTF when it's like completely mm -hmm, cold. Mm -hmm. um, but we just want to wait for a minute. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it's still warm, but we've waited a little bit, so we're good. And so I'm going to very carefully pull this off. Ooh, she's so pretty. Oh, my gosh, it is on so well. It is, and it looks gorgeous. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that not beautiful? Yeah, it looks awesome. Y'all, these would be such good Christmas gifts or, mm -hmm. like, wedding gift. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So there it is. Is that not beautiful? I'm not going to show you the finished product until we get the last yeah. one on there. But, okay, let's line this up. Now, if we didn't have to recut it, it would have been nice because we would just have to do the one yeah. press. Um, since we did press um, this already, I don't want to apply heat directly to the velvet that's exposed. Mm. So I am going to put a Teflon sheet to cover. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm just smart. Gonna cover and for that. everyone that was worried earlier about the residue, what you were noticing and what you were worried about was the velvet remnants. And mm -hmm. what is really neat is those velvet remnants was attached to the adhesive back backer. They were not go transfer when the heat activated it because right. they had no adhesive. Yes. Um, so that's just something to be aware of when you're looking at that and reasons to be totally fine with and the I thought the same I was worried the same thing when I first did it I was like oh I don't know yeah, I think that's sure. gonna stick to it but it's totally sure. fine yeah it, it totally is good yeah okay and yes, then I can just so remove good. this I just use that leftover I love that what a hack. <laughs> and then we're gonna put this on top of everything and we're gonna go in for 15 seconds again and I have not done two layers of the velvet before so we are going to see if it affects the big yeah. R right here live. I think it'll be fine. It I should, think it'll be it'll fine, be totally too. It'll be totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not we, so We're worried. professionals, Alicia. It'll we're profesh. Fine. Right. <laughs> We've been around the block. Renee says, I admit I was holding my breath. <laughs> Everyone was worried about all. it. I love, I love that. And the cool part is, like, you got to see what happened and you didn't risk anything, right? We, we risked it for everyone. Yes, and I didn't start the timer, so let's hope that was about 15 seconds. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a minute and then we will pull it off. I think this could work on cotton towels. Like if you're talking about terry cloth towels, yeah. you'd have the same problem you would with regular heat transfer vinyl, it's textured. Yeah. So if you were like actively using it, but again, if it's decorative, you should be totally fine. Yeah, for sure. Um, Ginger asks, what font would you suggest for bridesmaids robes with this velvet <sighs> gypsy with a slight offset? Because it's a kind of like a dainty handwritten font. It's a script. 
but I would add a very, like a 0 0.05 offset onto it and then cut that offset out so it's not too thin. But yeah, that would be so pretty. I'm like, who's getting married? Yeah. I, know. <laughs> like yeah. I need to make these for somebody. Everybody's on to their second baby. All our friends have <laughs> already got married. <laughs> it's like everyone's turning 30. Everyone's yeah. married. Okay, and then we are just going to slowly remove our carrier sheets. Yes. All right, you guys. Guys, look at this. I mean, so come beautiful. on. That is just too Bougie. good. Bougie. Let's get close. Like, are you guys kidding me? Look, it like folds with the blanket. You can't even tell. It's awesome. I love it. The it's second so sheet, we were using that Teflon sheet for the second one in order to prevent overworking the velvet or the adhesive. So perfect. Gypsy's my current favorite too, Tina. I use it for everything. Okay. Yay. What do you guys think? I love it. Debbie's asking for any washing instructions. Have you read about any washing instructions um, to share? You know what? I did, and now I can't remember exactly. Let but I want to say, usually, usually, it's machine wash cold, tumble dry low, or hang to dry. I almost yeah. always hang to dry anything I hand make because I do not want it to mess up. But look, if you just hung this over your couch. Oh, I love that. So classy. So neat. So, so neat. Yes. And I they love market it. this as very easy to use, easy to weed, which mm -hmm. I love. I truly agree with that. Yes. Um, we have linked everything down below for you all. So feel free to take advantage of that um, down below. I'm trying to see if we have any wash instructions. That would be really good. Yes. Um, you can see, I mean, they have some sample examples that you can mm -hmm. take a look at, which is really good. They don't mention anything specifically um, besides cold peel and, um, you know, all of that. Yeah. So, oh, to durable and machine washable, keep your heat transfer projects for years. Mm -hmm. And this is the instruction. Mm -hmm. Number one, machine wash cold. Inside out. Yes air dry or low heat, mm -hmm. do not bleach, do not dry clean. And lastly, iron from the inside out if needed. That's a great tip too. That is great. I, would, I wouldn't personally iron it. No. That's just yeah, me. look at it the blanket. It would make me nervous. Feel how, I mean, oh, it feels wow. good. Y'all, it's so precise. It is, it's crispy. It looks very It's really high impressive, end. yeah. yeah. I love that. Quality. What did you guys think? Let us know. Love it. Oh my gosh, fancy car blanket? Yes, please. Oh yeah. Who loves a good car blanket? <laughs> I am I love right? a car blanket. That yeah. reminds me of going to clinicals and nursing school. It would be like five o'clock in the morning and everybody would have a blanket because it'd be so cold. Courtney on any road trip, she's like, pillow. Car blanket. blanket. Yeah. Yeah. It's so I love good. that. It is so, so good. Oh my gosh, you watched my video on Puff HTV. I need to remove it from the internet. It was the biggest craft fail of my entire life, I think. We all have them. If you guys have watched our balloon masterclass, that was my ultimate yeah. live yeah. stream fail. That's so fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. My friends, what did you guys think? Are you going to order some Velvet HTV? Are you going to use it for a project? It's so fun to have as mm -hmm. another option. And if you are new around here and you have not heard, our National Craft Month sale is coming to a close. It is. First time ever, we are offering everyone who joins, if you use the coupon code CRAFT40, you're gonna save $40 this year, $40 every year, grandfathered in low price. Mm -hmm. You're getting a starter kit mailed to you when you go annual. And if you say yes to monthly, you're getting a Cricut reference guide and weeding tools. So what, no matter what, as long as you join the membership, you're getting a free gift mailed to you. Ooh. And just real quick, there's all kinds of goodies, weeding tools, booklets. I mean, so the starter kit stuff. is insane. It's crazy. But we're sending you, for the first time ever, our 30-day challenge workbook. That's huge. It's yeah. beautiful. I mean, it is beautiful. Our Full team works knowledge. so hard on these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to really, really enjoy these. I can't wait for you guys to get in um, and get started with that. It's going to be incredible. Yes. Um, and it is going to be so much fun. Fun. I can't I wait. It. Yeah, you all do not need to see me using that puff HCV. I'll tell you what happens. Nothing. I was like, this didn't puff. Alicia has a beautiful new puff HCV. Was video. it StarCraft that you used? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. It, they're all different. We tested out three different brands for y'all. Which one's your favorite? Um, probably 
Caesar or Tech Wrap, they all look great, but yeah. just the processes were different. And yeah. I like the process of the Tech Wrap and Caesar better than StarCraft, mainly because StarCraft, you have to press it twice. And yeah, if you watch me, I was like, it was the first video in my studio, uh, Puff HTV. Oh my gosh, I look so skinny. Um, and little. Uh, I looked very healthy. It's I need to a, a get perk back there. of being on the internet. You get to look back and see how skinny you were last year. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost two years ago now. So, um, yeah. But it was the first time in my home studio. And what you'll end up noticing is that, you know, it just didn't work for me. And I, I really don't. Let me see it. Yeah, you all have to oh, take a look. I, yeah. It like little little puffs. Like it was not. It wasn't what you wanted. It was not a real. It was <laughs> not a real deal. Do you see that? It was like, that's what it did. It crinkled. It crinkled for me. Yeah, it does semi crinkle. It does semi crinkle. It kind of looks like that, really. All of them. That's not terrible. What do you mean? That's not that bad. I was not impressed. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe you would like the other brands. Yeah, maybe. I think you would. Anyway, That's it is so, so much funny. fun. Um, <laughs> Margaret, oh my gosh, let's do a little training for anyone here. We have quite a few friends here. I want to give okay. you all like a little 411 on how to take advantage of a live stream when you are part of Makers Galore. So, yeah. what you need to do if you're on a mobile device at any time you're on a live show with us, and you want to see the description box. The description box is where we have our offer details, mm -hmm. our supply list, our cut files, our fonts. Yep. It's valuable in there. All the things are down there. Yeah, so if you're on an iPad, you'll wanna go, you'll be watching us up here in the top corner. Mm -hmm. There's a chat box and you're like, Tanner, I just see the chat box in the video. Mm -hmm. You have to click the X on the chat box and then you'll start seeing the description in between yep. the video and the other recommended videos. Yep. There's a little description. Mm -hmm. You gotta click expand or show more. Cause it'll just be little. It it's won't really have little. Anything. It's yeah. really little. Um, so just do that. Do that. And you can look at the description while watching the show. Mm -hmm. You can sometimes open the links while watching the show if you're on a mobile device. Sometimes. Yeah. Not always. Um, and it is so much fun. Uh, Katrina, we have linked um, the exact heat transfer vinyl we used on Amazon. So Tina, check the are you saying this is out of stock? We probably sold out. Yeah, there was four left at the beginning of the show. Check me... Amazon and check Craftable's main website because we linked it for Amazon, but Craftable's has a separate. Y'all are wild. They sold out of all the colors. There was there was so many colors available at there the beginning was. of the show. Y'all crazy. Okay, well it's everybody's buying it. Ne this time next week, I'm gonna need to see examples. I uh -huh. want to see your finished uh -huh. product. Mm -hmm. So don't be buying it and putting it in your craft room. I like, was Remember worried. Remember that the HTV I got? <laughs> I was really worried about that happening, but it it sold out. So that is I'm so sorry. That is crazy, crazy. But so. really, check the Craftables website. Like, yeah. don't just go to our Amazon link. Just type in Craftables yeah. and look and see. They probably got more options over there, possibly too. Sure. I, don't, I don't know, but sure. they may. Yeah. It may not be out of stock yet. Yeah. So it is so good. <laughs> well, my friends, I am so excited that you all are loving this new material. It's not every day we get to share with you guys new material like this. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in joining the membership, please take advantage. You only have two days, and this offer is going to be going away. Yeah. Um, and will not be back anytime soon. So. And craft month is over. Oh my March. It it's April. I literally can't. I cannot, y'all, Alicia's <laughs> going to be a boater with me. I'm so excited. Oh my She's gosh. getting a boat. If Trey's here, I told everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't officially got a boat yet, well, but I'm like, hey, look at my new boat, everybody. Look at my boat. <laughs> we don't even own it. You it's said fun. there may, it might not be the one, but it's you like all are. It's like a 90% chance. It's a 100% chance in my heart. I've already yeah. mentally decided. Well, you were really ours. liking the boat life last year. Yeah. Y'all rented. Y'all had people. Yeah, and, stuff. and you know, I grew yeah. up on a boat, so like yeah. all, I've always said, when I get old enough, I'm gonna be yeah. a boat. I'm gonna be a listen. Lake girl, when we became you know? a boater, it changed our entire life. It does. It's just so <laughs> fun. If you live near a lake, y'all understand. Yeah. Like boat life is. I'm the addicted. Life. I've never, I've never spent, <laughs> I've never spent so much money guilt-free. It is like the most guilt-free. Anything for yeah. the bow, anything for the lake, anything. Whatever it needs, I'll get I it. I have the most time, like fun time. I mm -hmm. would honestly, I don't go on, like I used to spend a lot of money 
planning vacations in the summer. Right. I literally don't go on vacation in the We summer. live in one of the biggest tourist areas of the country. Yeah. So, like, why would we really go anywhere? Yeah, we can we, go on the lake and do whatever we want. Yeah, we're on the lake. It's Beautiful. so good. We travel other times of the year, but... I'll go visit my in-laws on their vacation and... I'm gonna go visit your house on my boat. Yeah, you are. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna hang out all the time. All our kids, our yeah. neighbor who you know, yes. they have, and Ruby's about this big, mm -hmm. they have a little pool oh. that's in the lake. So you I put know this that. pool in the lake. Anyway, sorry, we're, we'll have to talk about We're making it. plans. We're, we're making plans. It's so good. <laughs> but y'all, I hope you all are so excited for April. We are having, about to be announced, a creative business breakthrough. Yeah, It's a three day training. I am so excited. I am teaching on beliefs. I am teaching on becoming a category, like like own a category. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna call it category queens for oh, the majority of our okay. students. And um, my third day, oh my gosh, Maybe about pricing. I've, wait, it's I have notes. It's confidential knowledge. It's confidential knowledge, yes. But I'm obsessed. Would you say category queens? Category queens, yeah. Okay. It's going to be so good. Like figuring out your category, it's going to be awesome. I love that. It's going to be really fun. So we'll have in, uh, details on how to get enrolled for that very, very soon. It's April, every year we spend it talking about selling your crafts. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, but, I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much. Have yeah. an amazing, amazing uh, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you back here all week with new videos. Yes. Have you all been enjoying the podcast? The podcast Let us is know. amazing. Yes. I've been, I did three interviews yesterday. Oh, I know. And they were good ones. They were so good. They were so good. I love it. Uh, we're going to have so many guests, so many good people on the show. Um, coming up. And so. Sadie's comes out next week, right? Sadie's will be soon. on there. Those are for all of our seller people. Sadie's is great for yeah. that. So yeah. it's, it's incredible. Be really fun. Yes, please, 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 please enjoy the podcast. We have so many videos coming out, and we'll see you back here next Wednesday for another live show at 1 30 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for all watching, right. guys.